Hi guys and welcome to Tech Paste. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider pre-build for the dev channel, which is the build 26120.2213 or version 24H2. In this build, as always, we have a few changes and improvements, of course, alongside with fixes that we're going to discuss in this video. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to Tech Paste channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. The only actual changes that we have on the dev channel are some changes related to input. First of all, Microsoft is beginning to roll out a change where they now hide the IME toolbar when apps are in full screen mode for those who have the IME toolbar enabled and type in Chinese or Japanese and they also temporarily disable the new gamepad keyboard layout for the on-screen keyboard in Windows 11 to address some issues and the feature will roll out again in the future flight. Other than that we have fixes and we have quite a bunch of fixes for example related to the start menu Microsoft fix an issue impacting start menu reliability fix an issue causing some insiders to see an unexpected amount of spacing between items in the start menu apps list and they also fixed an issue where the ability to pin and unpin apps to and from the start menu was unexpectedly unavailable for some people. Related to the file explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue which was causing the items in the navigation pane to become very spread out with unexpected padding between each item for some people. They also fixed an underlying issue which was causing raw images taken in portrait mode to unexpectedly display in landscape mode thumbnails. Related to the taskbar, Microsoft made a change so you'll now see a search box if the taskbar auto hides when the setting for the search on the taskbar is set to search box rather than an icon. So basically whenever you have from taskbar behaviors the option automatically had the taskbar and the search set to search box you'll now see a search box whenever the taskbar is being shown. They also made a fix for the win plus random numbers associated with the position on the taskbar not working in some cases in the latest flights. Fiction issue or the X button to close an app window from the taskbar wasn't working for some insiders. For example as you can see it now works properly and they also fixed an issue on secondary monitors for left aligned taskbar users where the widget stacks in the taskbar might overlap the date and time. Related to dev drives, Microsoft also has a fix. Fix an underlying issue leading to dev drives potentially not being accessible within the Windows subsystem for Linux after the latest flights. In the list of fixes that are slowly rolling out to insiders in the dev channel, we also have some other fixes. For example, fix an underlying issue which could potentially lead to not being able to join a domain. Fix an underlying issue which could lead to DISM start component cleanup not working properly, getting stuck at 71% and showing the error 6842, fix an underlying issue which was causing the get windows capability command to get into a state sometimes where it would fail unexpectedly until rebooting your PC. They also fix an issue where rotation info about JPEGs couldn't be queried via APIs for example PowerShell. We also have some fixes for everyone so basically all the fixes that I've mentioned so far are fixes that are slowly rolling out. Now fixes that are available for everyone. Fix an underlying issue leading to some games not launching in the previous flight. Related to task manager, Microsoft fix an issue causing task manager to show zero count for apps and processes and related to network fix an issue impacting DHCP or unexpected duplicate options would fail leave acquisition which could cause DHCP to not get an IP address leading to Wi-Fi not working and also fix an issue where direct access wasn't working and might stay stuck in a connecting state. We also have a known issue Microsoft is working on a fix for an issue where your desktop background may not show correctly sometimes with multiple monitors showing big black areas. So this is all there is in the latest dev channel build. You can also check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post for more info if you're interested. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.